Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. So today uh, we're going to be looking at a new graphics card, old graphics card. Um, so the old one is the 750Ti, uh, outgoing model, um, been around for about two years and good low end contender um, and then of course sitting next to it is the 1050 which is not the TI model, there is 1050 TI. However, based on NVIDIA's current pricing structure, the 1050 will sit in straight where the 750 used to. Um, so what this means at this point in time, when this video is recorded, is the 750 is currently cheaper by a little bit because it's on clearance deals, they need to get rid of the stock. Um, so what we're gonna find out is if the 1050 is worth spending the extra money for the extra features you get. Delving into the hardware, uh, we have an i5-3450, uh, runs at 3.1 GHz, solid quarter core chip. That is about what most people are going to be having have sitting in their older systems. Um, so this video will, will basically give you a gauge of, you know, is it worth upgrading CPUs or whatever, or can I just chuck one of these cards in my system and will it be a good as gold gaming system and I don't have to touch it for another three years. That's what we'll find out. Um, we also have a 160 gig hard drive, 700 watt power supply, and a old Intech case, which is a nice case. Uh, so good to go. Um, we will go with the 1050 first just to kind of set the benchmark and see how the 750 can live up to its reputation. Alright guys, so moment of truth. Uh, we're going to turn it on. Uh, we don't expect any gremlins with this one. So hopefully I wind it up correctly. stuff guys all right sweet uh, so first up we're going with the 1050 um, what we're going to do is we're going to run some benchmarks uh, we will do some fraps recording um, so we can actually give you some nice overlays in the editing so. okay guys so we've run all the benchmarks now um, and just to kind of clarify what was the benchmarks um, so in Fallout 4 uh, it was 1080p Ultra with all settings cranked, uh, distances cranked, everything. Every setting we could crank, we cranked it. Um, so, uh, in the Fallout 4 benchmark that we did, um, it was running through the bolt uh, just after the nuclear bomb had set off. So it's not the most demanding, um, but unfortunately that was as far as we'd progressed in the game uh, at the time of recording. So we couldn't, on that system, we couldn't do any better than that. That was the best we could do. Um, so... Uh, the frames in that were quite interesting. Um, so on the 1050 side, we had an average of 57, a max of 63, and a minimum of zero. Uh, the zero is an outlier, I'd ignore it. It was buttery smooth in gameplay. I loved it to bits. Um, the 750 Ti, on the other hand, um, it averaged at 43, maxed out at 61, and same again, minimum of zero. Um, gameplay on that was visibly not as smooth as the 1050, especially having come from the 1050 first. Um, so all in all, that was a 14 frame difference. So um, on that scale, 1050 with a quite significant win on that one. Okay guys, so on the Doom benchmarks, um, what we did was 1080p Ultra cranked all settings again, same as Fallout. Um, and this one produced much more interesting results. So on the 1050, it had an average of 49, um, the maximum was 78, and the minimum was 19. Um, now this one, when I was playing the actual game, in-game, it was just smooth the entire time. I didn't notice any point where it lagged out. So for you guys, 1050, great 1080p card, um, as far as I can see. Um, moving on to the 750 Ti, it was a bit more uh, humbling and a bit more disappointing. 
So the average for 750 was 34 frames in Doom. Uh, the max was 50 and the minimum was 9. Uh, and playing that one, I must say the 34 frames feels how it actually was when I was playing it. Um, again, coming straight from the 1050 onto Doom, you really did notice that lag in performance. Um, but still playable, still enjoyable, so don't take this as a 750 Ti as a terrible card. Take it as it is a great card for 140, 150 Australian dollars right now. Um, US dollars would be about $100 locally. Um, Okay guys, so in summary, um, overall, what is my opinion, uh, what is my recommendations? Okay, so both of these cards, um, 1050 and 750 Ti are both still great cards. Um, for the 1050, clear winner. Um, overall, if I had the 200 Australian, 100 to 180 to 200 Australian dollars to spend on this card, I would spend it. Um, and I would not see a need to spend any more than that um, if I wanted a 1080, 1080p card because this will do the job for years to come. Um, as for the 750Ti, um, the way I look at that card at this point, if you there is not a massive price gap to the 1050 and you can afford it, go for the 1050. Um, however, if you have 140, 150 Australian dollars, and that is the maximum that you can afford, get that 750 Ti card. Um, it will be good for another couple of years, but it is not going to have the life that 10, 1050 will have because it lacks DirectX 12. Um, and just in general, you can sort of see with this, especially with doing the latest, one of the latest titles, it's starting to fall off. Um, so it was on Ultra, so it is a bit of an unfair test on that card. But it kind of is always good to do that because it gives you a gauge of where your card's going to be in a couple of years' time when you're just trying to run the games at low settings. So that 750Ti will do the job for another couple of years, as far as I can see. Um, but all in all, please get that 1050. Um, if you can afford it, I promise it'll be worth it. Um, Alright guys, so thanks for watching, uh, like this one if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Um, if you have any comments on either of these cards, if you own them or you're kind of thinking what you should do, um, just leave a comment down in the section below. Um, and thanks for tuning in guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.